What is it that moves us from place to place? The act of moving from one place to another comes from our desire to survive, originating from our primitive instinct to migrate with the herd. What is transportation? In this study, we look into the history of travel, the act of conveyance, and the evolution of modern transportation methods. By contemplating the existence and meaning of mass transit, we begin to understand that one is driven from within. We took Metro from school over to uh, the hospital, right, when we went to the Evergreen. The Total Lake uh, uh, Transit Center. Total Lake Transit Center, yeah. We took a Metro bus from school to uh, there, yeah. and then we hopped on a Sound Transit bus, the Express, down to um, Bellevue Station, right? Mm -hmm. There's a bus stop every, uh, I'd say... The station's right over there, so... Right. This is a pretty close bus stop. Was it a dollar fifty per person? I think it was a dollar seventy-five per person. Okay, and that's eighteen and up. And that's eighteen and up, yeah. And then we got that awesome footage of the bus driver and stuff. Everybody get an orca card. So with the orca card, you have a two-hour transfer built in. You get off the coach. You can transfer another coach without having to pay another fare. You know, also that one thing that we saw in Bellevue, what was that? Um, it was called uh, the commuter station or something? The commuter station that was closed. Yeah, it was closed because there, there was nobody to run it. That's right. And, and that's where you could store your bikes and your gear. And yeah. I mean, there was lockers there and everything. And right. it's a building sitting there empty right now. Right. Because they can't afford yeah. to staff it. So it's, it's really, it's almost like... Um, be, be, due to the, the transportation cuts, um, it's it's almost like stopping us from moving forward. Yeah. Footage of us using our cell phones and everything, opening us, you know. Well, it was nice because we actually could, you know, we were out and about and walking around and we could take a break and, and uh, use our cell phones and text our loved ones or whatnot. And, exactly. You know, Basically, Metro and Sound Transit, uh, you know, Metro Transit on the east side gives us the option to spend less money, time, energy, and, you know, and, you know, less time at the wheel, right? Right, yeah. So, and then just to let you know of a few different uh, things that are out there, actually. With the buses, there's van pools, there's car pools, there's resources for biking, walking, teleworking, and uh, uh, all these, you know, real positive options for taking the bus.
And this here is all East Link Light Rail. That's the project overview there, showing how it's going to the east side. Yeah. And basically, here was their announcement a couple weeks ago here. With help from the east side community in the last year, Sound Transit has reached several significant milestones on the East Link project. This includes selecting the project to be built as shown on the map below and furthering our participation with the local government, stakeholders and residents so that the project can move forward into final design. So basically, this East Link rail is, is in final design right now. And here's the map, basically, it's showing, it comes over, here's Rainier Station on the other side of uh, Mercer Island, on the other side of I-90. Then it comes over Mercer Island, boom, boom, boom. There's a Mercer Island station, one station on Mercer Island. Then there's South Bellevue Station, just north of Factoria there. Then it comes in. Right into East Main Station in Bellevue, then Bellevue Transit Center, and then the Hospital Station, 120th Street, and then it heads all the way out to Overlake Transit Station out in Redmond. So from Overlake all the way to the Rainier Station? Oh, the International District. Yeah. Oh, right on. Yeah, so it goes right to the International East District. East side to West side. East side to West side. Okay. So where are we going with this, uh, with the East Link? Well, basically, uh, the design is in final design. Oh wow, really? So basically uh, this is going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. And basically once the design process is complete, Sound Transit's going to construct, test and open East Link Rail for service. Right on. So at the bottom of this page we have a timeline for it and it says here 2012 enter final design. Sound Transit will hire consultants to help bring the project to 100% design. And then here a time as we move further along the timeline 2013 to 15 is the final designs and then 2015 construction begins mm -hmm. and then 2023 East Link opens for service that's a long time away but hey at least it's in the process right well by 2023 we'll have it fully out to Redmond maybe yeah. by 2022 we'll have it going to Bellevue at least <laughs> so. Metro light rail can transport 50,000 passengers Mm -hmm. Car transportation is 2,000 passengers. Right there, that's kind of... There's a comparison. Yeah. So we can move 50,000 people an hour with a light rail system. We can move 2,000 people an hour with vehicles. Yeah. And the light rail only takes three to five meter wide strip of land. Exactly. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of... Uh, like it, it's, it's not like adding more and more lanes. Like as you see, they're doing all over the place now. Yeah. You I don't mean, need to. You can use... The other thing I thought was exciting is you can use the rails, the old the old rail systems that we we have. From yeah, like the, the Burke, yeah Burke Gilman Trail and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, and the thing is, is that they are adding these new lanes and everything like that. Uh, we know that we can take our existing roadways and we can build ourselves a, a light rapid rail either above them or, or we have the arteries yep. they're already in yep. right so we could do like what Vancouver does Vancouver they have a subway system downtown in Vancouver that links the whole underground city to the to the sea bus in North Vancouver and then when it takes off through East Vancouver as we saw it comes up on the ground and sits up on pillars like what we have going out to the, the airport so I mean wherever we have to go underground or wherever we follow the corridor of the I-5 or the I-405 or the 520 when they come with the East Link Rail basically the infrastructure <laughs> pathway is in the infrastructure just needs to go in right. So one option for building a network 
of for the light rail is, of course, using the the old train tracks. Yeah, the art, the arteries are already there, right? Exactly. So, in here we have a pretty interesting point here on the Bellevue Trestle. The Wilburton Trestle is an historic wooden railway trestle in Bellevue, Washington. So that's that big mammoth thing that you can see right off the 405. I mean, it measures 900. Transit Center. Uh, so. Right. Post bus stop. Your thing, and it's a bit. Exactly. 
land. There's resources.